Hi guys, this is Christina or Critter Kid um, on Critter Kid on Ravelry and Critter Kid 12 on um, YouTube. And I thought I would come and say hey and show you what I've um, finished and um, projects that I'm working on. Um, a project that I finished this weekend. <clears throat> I may been making a. Sorry, I'm going on the camera. Um, been making a blanket for um, a lady that I used to work at her school, a friend of mine, and it was for her. If you're friends with me on Facebook or on um, Google Plus, uh, I think I'm Critic Kid 12 on Google Plus. Carmen, get down. She's trying to. I'm on the kitchen table, different location. And she's trying to get my breakfast off the kitchen table because I decided to stop and take a video. So um, I thought I would show you guys a picture, or a picture, geez, show you the blanket that I finished. And hopefully I can get all back up here. Um, it's a crib size blanket. And uh, I folded in half because. Uh, the baby was born the beginning of the beginning of November, so I don't think she's a couple weeks old. Uh, but uh, is that too cute or what? And then I made um, little flowers on the side, and they're um, they're buttons. So you there's like a little loop here. That you shove the flower through. And uh, it holds the blanket closed. And uh, I'll undo the button so you can see exactly how big it is. And that's the terrible noise you see on. He's saying terrible. Is Elmo. He's, his cage is beside me. Yes, everybody hears you. They know what, they, nobody wants to see your dirty cage. I need to clean your cage. Here's your messy bird. And one more. And these flowers, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've watched a video on um, YouTube, but there's a a white one and a that's a purple. Looks blue in the picture or in the video. And then a blue. And then a bright orange. But, uh. <clears throat> Probably can't get it on. Maybe if I hold it sideways. But it's a pretty good size. I wanted to, to make it to where it would. where it would work for her now and then when the baby gets as the baby gets older um, you know because little babies you're not supposed to just lay a blanket on them because you know they get smothered you want to wrap them in the blanket and uh, so I figured if I made it with buttons that she could put the baby in it the other side and it's got like a purple or a violet um, edging on it so it's kind of simple but but really cute and I think I started it sometime in May and have been working off and on since then I don't think I really worked on it too much when I was in my CNA class but uh just as, it, as I was in the mood and got motivated. Um, yeah. So, here's the little alleys again. <clears throat> so there's that. And then, um, my dad got a hold of me last night or yesterday I'm not sure 
and um, he wants me to make, uh, I'm assuming they're not for him because we don't have any chihuahuas or smaller dogs um, at his house. Actually, he only has one dog and she's, she's on like steroids, so she's like, it makes her poofy. So I don't think she's, and she's an inside dog. She's not outside a lot. I mean, obviously just to go to the bathroom. And so I get to make chihuahua size and maybe um, a medium, two medium sized dogs. And one of them might be a lab. I'm not sure. Um, coats. And uh, my dad's last name and my maiden name are, is Hazard. H-A-Z-Z-A-R-D. Like the Dukes of. Yes. And so he wants, I'm assuming they're for my brother and my soon-to-be sister-in-law, um, for their dogs. But I've never met their dogs. Or, well, I met my sister-in-law, but, or soon-to-be sister-in-law. Because um, I used to work, I used to work with her. And so he says that he wants dog coats so he wants them to Velcro up, not like a sweater that you slip over the dog. And, uh, try not to sneeze. Um, ooh. Try not to try not to sneeze. Um, you know, so he can take them on and off really quick. Um, so he wants them with a rebel flag on the back. And sorry if that offends anybody, but on the, oh gosh, it's going to kill me. On the General Lee, I think that's what it's called. They had a rebel flag and it's a red flag that has a blue X with 13 stars on it. <clears throat> and uh, he wants it on the back of each one of the dog sweaters. And so I want to make red dog sweaters or coats with, and then I'm going to make the blue um, X across the back and then put little white stars on them. And so that should be an interesting challenge. I've never made, um, never made a dog coat before. So just kind of got, had him to measure the dog and, and get, get an idea of, you know, size wise, you know, how long across the back I needed, you know, how far around the chest I needed, how big their neck was, you know, that kind of thing. Just kind of just get a big, big picture of it. And then he also wants me to make, um, house slippers. And I'm like, okay, I've never made house slippers before. I've made like, uh, Socks, just like a tube sock or something that you would wear around the house. And he wants um, house shoes, but he wants them to have a rubber sole on the bottom of them. So if anybody knows, has any idea in the wintertime where I can get um, soles to put on the bottom of slippers. And he wants three pairs. He wants a size 9, a size 6.5, and, and a size 11. And I found a chart on Ravelry that shows you like the vague length of the foot for each size. So these are the size six and a halves that I made. And yes, one is bigger than the other. This is the first one I made. That's the second one I made. But, uh, and they already have dog hair on them <laughs> because I have dogs and, uh, I thought they turned out okay. This one's kind of flat, but and they're kind of like a olive, a really light olive green. And then I started on a started on a blue pair, the size nine. I just took and uh, went up a hook, and then increased increased my stitches a little bit to where hopefully. I'm not a size nine. Um, hopefully they'll fit. And then the 11s, which my husband wears a size 11, so I'll be able to try those on him. Um, 
my dad wants them in a, like a chocolate, a really dark, dark chocolate brown. So as I finish those or have progress on those, I'll pop in and show you. Or um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, um, they'll be on Facebook and I'll also put them on Google+. Plus. I think I'm Critter Kid 12 on Google+, Plus. I think. So yeah. So I hope everybody's having a, gonna, having a good Monday, because today's Monday. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching and subscribing. And, uh, may God bless your day.